Ladies and gents, boys and girls, uh, we got a CAN bus uh, Pete Sontag excellence here update to uh, version 2.0. And he has nicely sealed this guy off, but there's all sorts of magic going on in here now. He did the connector, so you can just have a nice wiring harness. And then there's another connector for the CAN bus stuff that is more robust. And this other connector goes to an Amazon keypad that he has reverse engineered to work as a CAN bus keypad. This is not a drill. This is not a joke. Uh, Pete has managed to cram in even more and a connector and it has alternator output and it does dial and flex. And he also added, I should get you guys a feature list before I even do something like this. How about what I do is I dig up the feature list and we get right back because this is going in my Mustang, because I can do keypad stuff then, even though I have all the I.O. in the world, I don't have direct keypad usage. So I want to do awesome keypad stuff in my space shuttle. Uh, so that's what we're doing. So trying to keep it very low tech, here's the diagram, uh, why I do overlays and everything else. Pete sent me this, Pete designed this, this is Pete's circuit board, this is Pete's everything. He's actually calling it Boost Smart 1.2, so that's what we should uh, in respect to Pete. So, uh, there's the large square plug over here, and then that goes into the CAN and 12 volt system. And then the Molex over here is the wires that go to all the sensors, the IO. And on mine is an even newer version of this board that has the, he added the pin header to it for the Amazon keypad eight button CAN bus keypad. So uh, it's pretty neat to see that it has one output, two outputs, three outputs, and, and then there's a bunch of inputs. And then you have to consider on top of the flex and other things, uh, it has all those added in there too. It's incredible the amount of IO uh, built in here. If we can do a nice plug and play harness for this and have it be affordable, that would be the best stuff ever. So I'm going to work on, I will be using this for my dial input. Uh, I could dial directly into my setup. Obviously I have tons of IO, but uh, I wanna be testing this board because I'm on, I'm on board with this project. I wanna show people that it works. So I'm gonna put it in that car because the keypad and the dial and some other things are gonna all be uh, in the, my transmission shifter area. So everything that's in that is going to go into this and then it's going to swoop the end of the can. So it's going to always be my test bed uh, right there, not any kind of permanent wiring. Part of me wants to take my flex and put it through here. The flex runs from the back of the car uh, up alongside the center console and it would be easy for me to actually uh, swing them back and forth. Uh, I might just put a three pin connector and move uh, you know from the board to the actual ecu uh, i want to do obvious uh, long-term testing on it so i probably should and uh you know i got all these other inputs and everything else man i thought i had uh, a bunch already because of the uh, insane physical amount so it's neat to see that this board is going to do uh incredible incredible stuff super happy with it super cool that he's making it i couldn't be more excited to see this coming out. Everybody I tell about it is like, holy crap, that's amazing, I want it. So uh, yeah, it's nice to share this quick update. So quick one I'm doing is I saved a AEM dial for myself at some point knowing that my car will be ready and there may not be dials left in the world. So I saved this and I pre-cut uh, it down and pinned it and I'm going to, uh, I sleeve this into a single so this is gonna run over into my center console somewhere, nice and shiny and pretty, along with the this guy for the keypad, all that jazz. So trying to uh, make my initial thing here nice and pretty for to give you, a, you know, somewhat of an inkling of how an actual professionally built harness will look when I'm done instead of some messy disaster. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just put these together so that can plug in, and then I do believe I'm going to quickly do a three pin for the flex so I can do flex and dial over the can and test. So that's where I'm at right now. Well, looky here. So we got flex fuel 
coming on over the can. Fuel temp over the can. It's 80 degrees out. It's 100% accurate. And dial a boost over to can. So I got my dial. You can see the dial going up. Ta da! Look at that. Sweet. And then we got a keypad. Look, what's this button number four? Keypad number four turning on. Man, that's cool. You can just turn on like boost control and crazy features right there. No issue. So awesome. Pete, your demand. Doing the Lord's work.